Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Leading Change. My name is Emma, and I've got my friend Amy with me today. And we're going to be talking all about Rise Professionals and some of the stuff that her and her team are working on. But before I get to all the questions that I've got for you, Amy, can you give everybody an introduction? Yeah, sure. Hi, uh, my name is Amy Cooper. I have been in the insurance industry, uh, I think going on eight or nine years now, and I uh, currently work for Gallagher Bassett, but since 2017, RISE has been my passion project. Uh, I started it back then and excited to talk to you today about everything going on. Well, you set me up perfectly with a segue. So you mentioned you started it in 2017. But for those that aren't familiar with the group, can you share a little bit about why you started RISE? And then we'll get to a little bit more about what's all included at this point. Yeah, of course. So um, back in 2017, I had just got into insurance and um, had been in it just a little while and was looking for a way to grow my career, really liked it, looked around for a young professionals group, couldn't find one. So I started Rise and we started it with uh, basically highlighting top rising stars in the industry. It's now grown to a nationwide organization. It has four committees. We do scholarships. We have a mentorship program. It's free for young professionals to join. Uh, and it's really grown to be so much more than that. I mean, we have uh, resources and it, it takes everyone uh, to achieve our mission of growing, recognizing and advancing the next generation of insurance professionals. So we're always looking for mentors and speakers. We offer a monthly webinar CE credit and um, we have our big annual leadership summit coming up in May. So before we talk a little bit more about the Leadership Summit, I want to dive into some of those different com committees that you have that are a part of RISE. Obviously, I'm involved with some of those, so it's near and dear to my heart as well. Um, but could you share what those four committees are and maybe a little bit more about things like the scholarship or the awards that you mentioned? Yeah, of course. So um, we have four committees, Education, Engagement, Innovation, and DEI, and they're all member-run committees. Obviously, you know, Emma, because you're chairing our Innovation Committee. Um, we have different initiatives. They're all set at the beginning of the year by those that are participating. Our DEI committee last year launched the DEI on the Rise Scholarship, um, which will be awarded here this month actually to some deserving diverse students who are interested in getting into the insurance industry. Uh, that was something beautiful that came out of that committee. The Innovation Committee has been working on almost over a year on launching a new course uh, to teach people how to innovate inside insurance companies. So that's pretty cool. Um, Education is involved a lot in planning our summit coming up and our Engagement Committee hosts a uh, sort of like a virtual networking like new member welcome every other month that you can sign up for and come find out what's going on with RISE. Great. Yeah, I'm involved in both the innovation committee and the course. So here's my shameless plug to come join us and be a part of that. So uh, before we round out our time together, I do want to focus in a little bit on the leadership summit that's coming up. Um, so I was there last year for the first in-person event. It was so great to see everything come together and what your team has been planning. I've got my little award from the uh, the ceremony last year up behind me always in these interviews. Um, but can you share a little bit more about what's going to, to take place at that event and why people should come join us? Yeah. Um, so first off, we have the award gala that is going to be the end. And as you know, you are one of our 35 under 35 winners last year. Uh, we also award Mentor of the Year, and we also have a LEAD Award, which is new this year. It's Leadership in Equity and Diversity, uh, and those winners will be announced live on stage. So that's very exciting, and that's kind of like the end of the event. But the Leadership Summit itself, it's not just for young professionals. It's really for anyone who is in leadership or aspiring to leadership. Uh, last year, it was a one-day event. This year, it's two. Uh, we have two different tracks this year as well, so you can work on your individual professional development, or you can work on management and leadership uh, topics. So uh, that will allow different people, if you're a team lead, if you're a supervisor, manager, director, um, up to VP, I think they're going to get great insights. Uh, we have 
couple different keynotes I want to highlight. We have uh, the first day, we'll have Susan Rivera, who's the CEO of Tokyo Marine HCC. Uh, the second day for the Leadership Summit, we have Dave Gordon, who is uh, Chief Marketing Officer at Gallagher Bassett, a public speaker, and he's going to be doing his talk, uh, Rock Your Role. And then for the gala, we have Lisa Corliss, who's the CEO of AF Group, who's going to be talking to us, too. So a lot of really great speakers. Um, about the style, it's going to be really fast paced, just like last year, 15 minute TED Talk style delivery or interactive workshops. Uh, nothing's going longer than 30 minutes. It's just really meant for uh, fast paced learning. A lot of great networking. Uh, we have the opening welcome reception the first night. We'll have a speed mentoring event, which you don't want to miss. That was a, an attendee favorite last year. And if you come, you will walk away with not only some great nuggets to take back, but a lot of good new friends. I'm a, uh, I want to talk to you about my contest. So maybe we can. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Add that yeah. in right now. <laughs> um, so um, if you're interested in coming, we have an awesome contest that kicks off today. Um, that is on Instagram. So if you follow us at Rise Professionals and you comment and tag two friends and share us in your story, you can win a five free tickets that we're giving away. We'll put the details in the in the comments here too. One thing that I was really impressed with too is the depth and breadth of how many people from across the industry. So there's service providers, there's a lot of carriers. Like you mentioned, lots of people at different levels of their career and everybody was there to make new relationships and look at how they can build up other people within the industry, which I think is really a, a great event to be a part of. Um, I will put the link to the registration in the comments, both on the YouTube video as well as in LinkedIn. So make sure that you keep an eye out for that and reach out to Amy or I if you have any questions. But thank you so much for joining me, Amy, and have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Leading Change. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe and come back weekly for more expert interviews on digital transformation, change management, and emerging technologies.